In this video, we're putting head to head the MSI GF65 Thin versus the HP Omen for graphic designers, video editors who also like gaming. That's coming at you right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for graphic designers and creative professionals. If that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing. Now, the MSI GF65 Thin versus the HP Omen. Two well-built machines, two very close in specs as far as performance is concerned, but what's gonna really differentiate these machines is a little bit more of the ergonomics, the usability, and some of the specs that are outside of the performance. First thing I wanna look at is the build quality. Before I jump into that though, if you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of these models, you can head down into the description below, grab one of those links. That is an affiliate link, so if you do use it, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now, something that will benefit you is a discount code from Computer Upgrade Kings. We thank you so much for them sponsoring this video. You can use that discount code to go to Computer Upgrade Kings and get a discount on any computer on their site. Use the discount code BEN3. All right, so the build quality. The MSI, I like a little bit more as far as build quality is concerned. It's going to have a little bit sturdier of a screen. We have less flex. The hinge is going to be a little bit smoother. Uh, and I like that aluminum top cover and keyboard deck. The HP Omen has a great look. It's a solid machine. It's got a super cool stun coming right out of the box. I love that X with the big HP Omen face on the top, but it just doesn't feel as solid as the MSI. So I'm gonna give a point to the MSI on as far as build quality is concerned. Let's talk about the screen and depending on which model you get in the HP Omen, you're gonna have a different refresh rate. If you get the Ultra HD, you're gonna have 144 Hertz refresh rate. If you get the 4K model, you're gonna have a 60 Hertz refresh rate. Now, if you're a gamer, I'd lean towards that 144. If you're just gonna be doing video editing and you don't need a super high refresh rate, then that 4K will be great. The MSI has 120 Hertz refresh rate. So both of these computers in HD are gonna have great refresh rates. So when you get into the HP Omen 4K, you're gonna lower that refresh rate. I like both of these machines. I will say that the MSI has a thinner bezel around the screen, just giving it a little bit better look in my opinion. The keyboard. I like the MSI keyboard. It's a little bit softer. The keys are a little bit closer together. If you're somebody who likes a keyboard that's a little bit more spread out, a little bit stiffer key press, then you're gonna lean towards the HP Omen. So really you can go either way on those two decisions. It's just, I prefer softer keys. Now the trackpad, I'm gonna lean towards the HP Omen. It has a better trackpad, got more sensitivity, better click. Um, the MSI just is not as good. The ports are popping up on the screen right now, and as I mentioned always with the ports, it really comes along the lines of what do you need as a designer, video editor, or gamer? Are you gonna be using dual monitors? Or do you need you know, an SD card slot to pull your video footage or photo footage in with? It's really preferential. For me personally, I like to have dual monitors, I like an SD card slot to bring in my footage, so on and so forth. So that's really a preferential situation. Now, continuing into usability, the MSI is gonna weigh in at a whole pound and a half less than the HP Omen. So if you're somebody who's on the go a lot, the MSI GF65 Thin is gonna be the way to go for you. It's a thinner laptop, it's lighter, but the battery life is a little bit less than the HP Omen. The HP Omen, you're looking at about three and a half to four hours of battery life, whereas the MSI GF65, you're looking at about two to two and a half hours of battery life. I'd recommend bringing that charger along no matter which model you decide to pick up, but um, the MSI is gonna be lighter, so it's a little bit better for travel. The fan speed, this is something that I've heard a lot of comments about, people have questions about. The MSI is gonna be a quieter machine. I was really shocked. It ran cooler and quieter. It didn't get above 42 decibels the entire 4K export. It actually floated around 38 to 40, whereas the HP Omen was up around 45, 48 when it started to really pump into that 4K export. So if you want a quiet machine, the MSI is the way to go. All right, if you're a video editor or a graphic designer, color accuracy is a big deal to you. The HP Omen really shines in this category. It has a sRGB gamut of 93%, whereas the MSI GF65 has an sRGB of about 62% on the color gamut. So really finding better performance out of the HP Omen in this category. 
All right, now before we jump into the performance section, I wanted to compare these models head to head as far as specs are concerned. The GF65 Thin has the latest 9th generation i7-9750 processor, the NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics processing unit, 64 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig solid state hard drive, whereas the HP Omen has the 8th generation i7-8750 processor, the RTX 2070 Max-Q, and 32 gigs of RAM complemented by a 512 gig solid state hard drive. Some big differences we're gonna see here, are obviously RAM, GPU, and processor, but I think you'll be surprised at how close these machines come in. So one of my favorite tests is taking a 4K clip, putting it into Premiere Pro, and then exporting it out at full quality 4K YouTube settings. The MSI can do that in six minutes and 49 seconds, whereas the HP Omen can do that export in seven minutes and 26 seconds. Let's say you wanna save a little bit of time, you only have to export to 1080p. The MSI can make that export in two minutes and 29 seconds, where the HP Omen makes that in three minutes and 12 seconds. This is a nine minute 4K clip, so it's really good benchmarks for these machines on the great gamut of exporting clips out of Premiere Pro. When I reviewed the 15 inch MacBook Pro, it exported in about six minutes and 45 seconds. So these really stack up uh, as far as video editing benchmarks are concerned. If you're a graphic designer or video editor who loves to do some gaming on the side, these machines are well equipped. They are gaming laptops and you're just getting a lot of benefits from these laptops when you're doing video editing and graphic design. So you can't go wrong with either of these machines as a gamer. I will say that that is not my expertise. That's why I don't speak on it. There are a lot of channels that do gaming reviews very well, uh, but that's just not my proficiency. But I ran some benchmark tests and these machines are really well equipped for gaming. If you're ready to make a purchase or curious about the exact pricing or specs of different variations of these models, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Again, that is an affiliate link, so if you make a purchase, I will get a small commission. Don't forget about that discount code over at Computer Upgrade Kings. You can grab the discount code BEN3 and you get a discount on any of the machines on Computer Upgrade Kings. I thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you here on the next episode.